Okay, hey y'all. I wanted to come live about this and I'm gonna share this to my team page too. So, because I feel like everybody can could benefit from this. So, again, took a shower earlier, have my best ideas in the shower, like just on like things that I, things, I don't know, like I just kind of start thinking about stuff and I'm like, oh, I really need to talk about this because listen, it is really hard. It is really, really hard to not compare yourself to other people, right? Hey y'all, if you watch the replay, tell me hashtag replay. If you're on right now, say hey. Let me know your thoughts on this because this is just how I personally feel about it. It is really hard to not compare yourself to other people um, on your team, other leaders on other teams, other, when you're a director, other directors, it is really hard. And it's hard, especially as a leader, because we're always preaching to our teams, like, don't compare yourself to anybody. Like, everybody's on their own journey. You can't look at, like, how you've been doing this for for over a year and someone who's brand new has already achieved a title that you haven't yet, things like that. That's hard. So the one thing that I do always tell my team, and if you're on my team and you're watching this, you guys you know I say it all the time, the only person you should be comparing yourself is who you were last year, last month, last week, yesterday. Like, I know that so many leaders, we will pull, pull reports just to see where we were this time last year. And I know for me, it's a personal goal of mine to hit to, to outdo my own PRV that I did last April, to do outdo my TWV, my GWV, my active frontline. Um, I love that I can look at my bar report and see all of that. Um, and then when I do achieve that, then I'm like, okay, what was my best month ever for PRV? Because that's what I'm gunning for. What was my best month TWV? That's what I'm gunning for. What was my best, you know, for everything. And that that kind of comparison is good. That kind of comparison is good. But if you are like so many people, because I feel like more people do this than they would like to admit, if you are caught, if you catch yourself comparing yourself to someone else, instead of going, oh my God, like I'm struggling to get like 500 PRV and this girl over here's got like over 4K, over 5K PRV, like holy crap, and feeling bad about yourself and having like negative self-talk. I'm a big believer because of my husband, what you say you shall have. So like it's the whole like speaking it into existence. So yes, like you wanna speak things into existence and manifest that, but just so you guys know like it works the same way with negativity. So if you're going to speak negativity like that to yourself, one, you're not setting a good example to anyone else, even not even just your team. You're not setting a good example to your kids, to your family, your friends. Don't do that. Um, so if you're going to, if you are going, if you're going to compare yourself to someone else, instead of being negative towards yourself about it, I would rather you go, okay, what's that person doing? And legit, y'all, I have no shame. If someone who is, I'm a director, if someone, if there is a certified consultant who is banging out PRV, I'm going to ask them, what are you doing? Can you tell me what you're doing? Because I want to do what you're doing. If there is someone, I don't care what your title is, if you are knocking out recruiting like it is nobody's business and you are hitting all these goals, I'm going to ask them what they're doing because I want to, I want to do what they're doing. The title means nothing to me. You could be a star consultant and you are banging out recruiting. I'm going to ask you what you're doing. Um, and then I'm going to ask you to share on the team page too what you're doing. It's why as leaders, like you will always like see like when you're active by the fifth, you know, you get that email from Whitney or your director saying, hey, share on the team page how you got active. Like, even if it's, even if you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing, but like, okay, this is, this is how I got my orders. Like, you might inspire someone else. Um, if I see another director, because 
I'm, I'm on a lot of other directors' team pages. If I see another director that has amazing team page engagement, or they just, I just love their vibe on their page, and I'm just like, oh, I wish my page was like that. That is one time that I'm not gonna say like, I'm not gonna like bug them and be like, well, how do you do it, what do you do? No, that's when I actually, I dig into their team page and I'm like, okay, what are, how are they getting this kind of engagement and stuff? And then, you know, I'll reach out and ask them, but like, look at what other people are doing and try to implement that into your goals for the next month. It's a really great time to do that. So like, yes, I understand I'm probably like, being contradictory, telling you don't compare yourself to people. But if you are going to compare yourself, if you're not like where you want to, where you wanted to be at the beginning of the month right now, it's a really good way to like go, okay, who's, who's doing the things that I want to be doing and what are they doing? How did they get there? And I, um, I always remember I don't know which like training it was because Justin Cox has said it on several trainings where when he was working in banking, he found someone in the position that he wanted to promote to and he was like, what did you do? How did you get there? Because that's what I want to do because I want your job. It's the same thing. If someone is banging out PRV, if they're booking all these parties and you can't get even one person to do a party for you, ask them how they're asking people. What do your conversations look like? How are you getting these parties? Ask them. Successful people do what successful people do. But the worst thing that you can do is sit back and just like sit and like be self-loathing and I want everybody to feel bad for me because... I've said it before, you can make all the goals on the first of the month in the world, but if you don't have a plan to get there, your goal doesn't mean anything. You can't just expect to like post your link and people shop. If, I mean, maybe if your goal is like maybe to be active, but like if you have big goals, if you wanna hit annual sales, if you wanna hit annual mentor, those are big goals and you can't, you have to have a plan for that. You absolutely have to have a plan for that. And good Lord, I just saw this big thing on my chin. Sorry. Um, so look to those people that are doing the big things. It doesn't matter what their title is. I can't think of anyone, at least anchored sense wise, I can't think of any leader that would like not tell you how they, how they got there. It's just the culture that Chloe and Justin have built I feel like you could maybe not necessarily ask them, but go like, look, do you know what I did probably a year into Sensi? I went back and I found Chloe's, um, Chloe's not OG boss babes, but her Chloe Cox's like original YouTube channel. And I feel so bad if she doesn't want me sharing this. But I went back and I watched every single video that she had. And a lot of it was like her like doing stuff with her team and stuff. And I was like, okay, like this is cool. Like this is this is how she built her team. This was like back when she like first promoted to director when she had that that team page. Like go research and train yourself and look for the things that these people that you look up to, look at what they did. Ask them what they did, how they got there. Because I can promise you the one thing that they're all gonna tell you is they didn't quit. And when shit got hard, they kept going. Like it just, you've, you've gotta work, <laughs> you've gotta put in the work if you want the results to match your goals. So I just, I, I hate to see people compare themselves and it sucks, but a lot of us do compare ourselves to people. And if you can't help it, at least change your mindset with it. And instead of feeling bad for yourself and just going, well, she just is better at this than me. None of us went to school for direct sales. None, none of us did. I mean, more power to you. If you have a marketing degree and you are in direct sales, like then awesome. But most of us don't have any kind of like, certificate or degree in, you know, in sales or um, marketing, recruiting, 
um, web designing, stuff like that. Like, legit, if we've got web designers on here and you want to create some content for me, let me know. But, <laughs> um, but no, and, and I don't even mean it like that. Like, when I say let me know, like, okay, what can you show me? What can you teach me how to do? What can you teach me how to do? I don't want you to do it for me. I want you to show me how you do it. And I'm like, and I want to learn how to do it. So I love you guys. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Thursday. Just don't beat yourself up. The only person you should be comparing yourself to is yourself last year, last month, last week, yesterday. Every day is a new day to wake up and be better than you were yesterday. And you can apply that to all aspects of yourself. Being a mom, being a wife, being a kid. Like every morning is an opportunity to do better than you did yesterday. So just ask. Ask how people got there. That's, I mean, I think that's why it's so important when Whitney will ask all of us as leaders, like share your why. Why did you join? Share your story. You don't think you have a story and you do. Share it. So, and yes, like Sylvia said, it's all practice, training, and learning. Everything in this business is trial and error. It's just the difference between someone who keeps growing and succeeding is they keep trying new things until they find what works for them. You can apply that to everything, to your booking conversations, your join conversations, your um, the way you do parties, the way you interact with your team. You have to try different things. You can't just do one thing and go, I suck at this. If you want to have that kind of mentality, that's on you. But I know for a fact that none of the leaders in this group want you to have that kind of mentality. And none of the leaders in this group should have that mentality. So I hope you all have a great day. I love you. Bye.